Kia ora koutou, YouTube. <clears throat> so here is a uh, part three um, of my workbench rebuild, looking at the, the water system and, and, and how I'm doing the plumbing and getting water uh, running to all my machines. So first of all, I um, haven't done much yet. Um, I've got a couple of uh, outlet bits. I've got a bit of the pipe running up here. And I've got underneath the container with the pump sitting in the bottom there. Um, the pump that I've got going on there, oh, you can see that, that black pipe goes up there and out the hole. And that grey one is the outflow um, from the um, drain hole there. Actually on the drain hole, <coughs> um, I had a quick test yesterday to see how it would go. And I have in, um, enlarged, you can see the cut marks and stuff there just with a knife. These are slits here because they weren't big enough at all to manage anything and stuff was getting stuck in them. I think I still going to have to make it even bigger or else that the water is just going to sit in here and the sediment will just build up. But that's going to be an ongoing uh, refining thing I think. But I want to show you the pump real quick. So that's the pump that's in there. This is the box uh, of the pump. So it's a water feature pump. AP3000 is the model. If we look at the specifications it's got about two meter I think it says it's got a two meter 2.8 meter head height and which I guess is how far how far up it can um, push water and um, 2800 liters per hour um, pumping thing so just to get an idea what that those stats look like I'm gonna give you a quick go I was quite surprised caught me a bit off guard at first <coughs> let's make sure this is pointing in the right direction for how much water this thing actually pumps out Okay, so I'm going to turn it on here, and we're going to be good to go. So, this thing just hums out there. There's heaps of water coming out of this thing. I think it's going to give some good pressure. Um, and it's, it's more than what that drain can handle. Um, so let's get that turned off. Ooh. So yeah, like I said before, caught me off guard the first time I turned it on, which is awesome. Um, I'm going to have more than enough water pressure, I expect, um, to run this thing. It's going to be interesting to see how it handles it when I um, plumb it down to something smaller. So, let's build it. Okay, so, I've um, plumbed it all in. It's all sorted. About to turn it on for the first time and see how it all goes. Um, I'm a little bit nervous, to be honest, see if it's all going to hold together. But, fingers crossed, it will work. What it should do... It should turn on and nothing should come out. Uh, all the taps are turned off, so nothing should come out. Now I can turn them on one by one and, and see if they actually work. So here we go. Moment of truth. Okay, now we're looking good. All right, let's. Open this one, that should plug come through. Hey, there's water coming through that. That's good. Use this one, we're going to take it a bit. Put it down, good. Moderate that flow, that one can go off. All right, turn this one on. Hey, full noise, that's heaps of water. Good. In here. Yes. Good. Last one over here. Yes. All right, so first test is a success. That's good. All right, so here we go. All done now. All complete, ready to go. Um, let's have a look at um, how the water system finally works though. So we've got it coming out of the pump up here and feeds through to all of the um, different machines that this plumbing I've put in. Um, and this here is flat lap, so let's get the spin on. Pump's already going. So here's the tap here. Alright, there you go, water smashing into that one. Now this one is, I don't think you can actually quite see it, there's quite a lot of spray 
coming up and out of this so I'm not sure if I need to put an extra some extra protection on here to keep the water inside but that's got plenty of water and it's doing well system is holding together no leaks while nothing's coming out which is awesome I was a bit worried about that so this here I'll show you so what I've done here these are sprinklers um, quarter size sprinklers they're just pumped into the plugged into the, the hoses Um, I had to make this bigger as well because there's lots of spray coming out the side. This is what this one looks like. Crank that up. Oh, water pouring off that. It's going to be going awesome. Might be in money for a little thing about using this thing here to keep a little bit of the extra spray off. So you work down here. There you go. So, yep. That looks like it's all working pretty good right now. Now this one here, this um, this goes super fast, so I've been told it needs lots of water and I'm thinking I may have to upgrade this uh, water shield as well because mate, this thing hums out of here, eh? So, get it spinning and then water comes out and you can see that spray is just going everywhere. So, I might see if I can bring that out a little bit more to um, yeah, protect that, but that's going to be awesome, you know? Works super well. Definitely don't mind getting wet. And the last one, the saw. This is working real soon. Great for trimming things up. So this part here is really key for this. So I've got the water coming around the back on this one and just feeding it underneath and straight onto the blade that way. So let's get the water going first. So we did have too much water on this. Don't. That should be enough there. And then we'll get the blade started. Okay. And there she is running like that. No spray coming out at the front at all. When it's low, at least. When it comes up, it starts flipping out the front, so it's a bigger piece of it will. And this thing here is catching heat. I'll take that off. There's heat spray coming out the top there. So that is a key part to this design. Um, yeah, so I'm pretty stoked with that, how that's going to work. And this here can come up and down, like I said. So if I do have bigger pieces, it'll be messy. But I still, I will be able to cut um, bigger pieces of pronominal. You can see when I lift it up, the spray starts coming out. There we go. All done, ready to use and fine tune now. I'm pretty stoked with uh, what we've got so far. All right, any questions, guys? Just chuck it in the bottom. But uh, I'm making noise. I'll probably um, actually, I'll probably post up a photo on the uh, photo, a video in the future with um, updates and tweaks and refinements I make to this just to, as I use it and, and make it work better. So, yeah. Cheers, guys. See you later.